424241127 AM. An associate of Sean Diddy Combs, Brendan Paul, has formally been charged with one felony count of drug possession, Paul pleaded not guilty to the charges, with his attorney telling TMZ, we will be dealing with this case in the courtroom, not the court of public opinion. Original story continues below the man accused of being a drug mule for Sean Diddy Combs was arrested Monday, March 25, on cocaine and marijuana possession charges according to arrest records obtained by Rolling Stone, Brendan. Paul was taken into custody at Miami Opelika Executive Airport around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, shortly after Homeland Security executed raids at two of Diddy's, 54, homes, reportedly in connection to a federal sex trafficking investigation. The airport is the same location where Diddy was seen pacing outside on Monday afternoon in video obtained by TMZ. Roughly 90 minutes after Paul, 25, would have been taken into custody, arresting officers found cocaine in Paul's personal travel bags and he was taken to Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center in Miami where he was booked on charges of cocaine possession and possession of a controlled substance. He has since posted bail and been released, according to TMZ that IT is unclear if Paul's arrest is tied to the larger investigation involving Diddy.in a lawsuit filed by producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones on February 26, Paul was named as a mule for Diddy, alleging he was responsible for acquiring and distributing Mr. Combs' drugs and guns. Jones claimed to have seen Paul acquire and distribute drugs to Diddy, including ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mushrooms, and tussie, the lawsuit alleged. The substances would be packed in carry-on luggage to make it through TSA, Jones alleged to have personally witnessed Paul transport or intend to transport illegal substances in his baggage while traveling between Los Angeles, Miami, Virginia, the Caribbean and London during three separate occurrences between December 2022-November 2023. The 30 million lawsuit filed by Jones also accused Diddy of sexual assault and harassment during his time working for the music mogul from September 2022 to November 2023. In a statement to What's the Gossip, Diddy's attorney Sean Hawley denied the accusations calling Jones a liar. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a 30 million lawsuit, shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday, Holly said. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. Thank you. You have successfully subscribed. Subscribe to newsletter. Subscribe by signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip deal of the day act fast this Stanley Ice Flow Tumblr is on sale. View deal check our latest news in Google News follow us check our latest news in Apple News follow us you have successfully subscribed by signing up I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip check our latest news in Google News check our latest news in Apple News in Monday. Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were both raided by Homeland Security earlier today. Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners, Homeland Security shared in a March 25 statement to What's the Gossip. We will provide further information as it becomes available. US reached out to Diddy for comment.